I mean, I guess you would define conceptual art as the this sort of um, a way of creating and making that's really born out of ideas. Um, Saul Lewitt, who is a, an early conceptual artist, has this amazing quote that um, the idea is the machine that makes the art, rather than a Jackson Pollock or a, an abstract expressionist or um, even just an abstract painter, where they're much more reacting to their own intuitive nature all the time and sort of letting themselves go, which is a great way as well to make work, but that's not that's definitely not conceptual art. Conceptual art is something where it's really deeply rooted in this idea. My name is Mac McFarland. I, I would just say I'm an artist. I don't, I don't try to, I'm not a painter or a video artist. I would just say I'm an artist. I myself work in whatever medium I feel best suits the idea I have. I, I work a lot in the, the medium of video, and then I also perform, but then I also make drawings. Um, and I send a lot of mail. I have a series of, of postcards I send out. Um, they're called 10-foot um, pole drawings. And the 10-foot pole drawings are done with uh, a literal 10-foot pole and um, on a 4 by 6 sheet of um, paper. It's really reactive. Uh, I sort of do things that are in the news. I'll pick a, a topic or a word. Um, right now I'm going to do Euro and I'm going to draw a shrimp. And it'll be a um, golf shrimp drawn with a 10-foot pole because of the oil spill in the golf. I have a lot of uh, influence based on Fluxus, this art movement from the 60s and 70s. It's the de dematerialization of the art objects. You know, they're not making paintings to sell in a gallery. They're creating performances. They're sending mail. They're giving it most of it away. Uh, I have my own sort of socialist tendencies as well. And so I'm interested in other groups who are really trying to break down um, the sort of world that we live in which is so much based on um, commerce. Uh, I have a whole series of videos called Kinetocasts. They really began more as like vaudevillian pieces because I was basing them on um, the kinetoscope, <clears throat> which is this uh, the way that we first watch motion pictures. And I started making these Kinetocasts um, when we were, when the video iPod was first coming out. And so I got really interested in like uh, this whole single viewership, almost participatory, you know, a video to watch while holding a stone, or a video to watch um, while feeling information overload. And so for those pieces, it really is this idea of uh, just sort of like a sensorial experience. Our senses are still all connected in some way, and so some of those videos are really trying to, to dig into that. But I've been really recently thinking about trying to make a 10-foot pole video I shoot all the video with a 10-foot pole, and I do all the editing with a 10-foot pole. In, in the simplest terms, I think I'm trying to create a, a space for contemplation to occur. So if I can make somebody uh, have that a little bit of a, a chuckle with, with anything, then that's great. I think I'm just going to keep making the things I make and um, just sort of see where that takes me.